Switch hustles out of love with her. Double down out of love with her. Grind for it out of love with her. Put in work out of love with her. Switch hustles out of love with her. Double down out of love with her. Grind for it out of love with her. Put in work out of love with her. I am in Ohio. I had a short load yesterday. It was loaded miles, 79 miles. And I had to deadhead 50 miles to go pick it up. Today, I have another small load, same load. I gotta pick it up and take it to the, the top of Ohio, excuse me. I'll tell y'all the destination when I get back to the truck. I came to a TA last night because I had to get a couple of things fixed. So I went on and got my oil change and I got everything done to my truck. I'll show y'all the bill on that. I got a synthetic blend as my oil. So I can last like 40,000 miles. It'll last 30, 30, I mean, between 30 and 50,000 miles. They say 50, but I never go that far up. Right now I'm trying to wait on this CR England to get situated. This TA right here, they didn't, they didn't make me wait 10 hours like most TAs normally do. I normally sit somewhere all day. At the TAs, I normally sit there all day waiting on them to deal with me or fix my truck. I didn't have to do all that today. So that was a good thing. Look at that car. I did have to wait on them to approve everything so I can come back and get my receipt and get my points. So I'm going back in there to do all that now. Can't forget your points. Since I don't deal with TA too much, I just normally let the points build up. Cause this is the only, these are the places that I really get my truck worked on because they are cheaper than dealerships on certain things. I'm looking for the office so I can get my bills from yesterday, oh, yeah. from which I worked on it last night. What's that? That's the one y'all worked on it last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. You live here, don't you? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I'm trying to get my bills from last night. They told me to come back because they had to get it approved okay. and then get my points. Calvin Bond. What's your truck number? 395187. Yeah, we don't do anything with the part, but the points, that's all done by. Uh, <coughs> so y'all can't add the points on my? No, it's, it takes fleet? 10 to 12 days after they pay it out. Before I can get my points? Okay. Did they change the password for eShop again? Yep. Same as a computer. Wow. I can go to any TA and get my points though? No. I have to be here? It's, Come it's done through corporate. We have nothing, no control over it. Okay. It takes 10 to 12 days once I pay it out. Okay. Okay. I got my bills. I'll throw it up there, show y'all what all I had to get done and how much I paid.
on this one right here I have I got an oil change I got my truck lubed counting supplies oil change and everything oh I got a fuel filter too I needed a fuel filter let me tell y'all about the fuel filter though yesterday I bought fuel like I told y'all on the last video and I did my I came from North Carolina all the way up to Ohio I dropped the load off that I, I was on then I came back and deadheaded close to where I got to pick up at pick my next load up at so I did my 10 hour break I knew I only bought enough fuel to only do that load you know and I did my deadhead because it looked like I had a little extra fuel to squeeze the deadhead in so I squeezed the deadhead in to get closer to the other load and I said I was going to go on and do my 10 hour break I did my 10 hour break I got up the next morning that was yesterday morning and I pulled up to the fuel pump and ran out of fuel the good part is I ran out of fuel at the fuel pump so I done ran out of fuel before so I already had some starter fluid so I went on and put the fuel in that I had to put in. I didn't even have to, I didn't even have to do nothing to it. Just, I was already at the pump. I was getting ready to cut the truck off and it cut off on me before I cut it off. So I just went on to put my fuel in and I had to prime it a little bit and started my day yesterday. go and get my shower done I sat in the truck and did everything I needed to do while I was waiting on my shower it was a few people ahead of me so I had to wait on them so while I was waiting on them I could take do my paperwork and everything that need to be done then I gotta buy some more fuel And JB Hunt gave me a express code because my check was messed up because I did them a favor on one situation and then on my other situation I had $300 worth of detention pay that wasn't added to my check the $300 detention pay they said that they was go add that to next week check so that's cool Sometimes that happens. And then he gave me an express code for the other 300 of the favor that I did. So I'm gonna get that when I get my fuel. Thank you. Cause 
if I get it that way, then I don't have to pay for it. Put my coat in. Okay. Finally got it fresh. Now I gotta get my fuel. And my express code money. Oh, uh, excuse me. Yes. Can you explain to me how, okay, my, I have an express code. And how do I get the money off the express code without paying? Get 60 gallons of fuel? Is that how that works? Um, let, me, let me ask. This is only my second day. So yes, ma'am. Give me one second. You said the express code, right? Yes, ma'am. I think I know how to do it, but I'm not sure. So I'd rather for them to explain it. Uh -huh. And $200, they don't charge. Okay, it's $350. So how much y'all would charge me for $350? What would we charge? If I get the 50 gallons of gas, fuel. Welcome to Three percent. Three percent. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
give pay for me a truck park in the night i run it all the way <laughs> i try to run it all the way especially if it's as light as this low and they number empty containers my tandems to the rear so slamming to it. So you gotta stay on them brakes. Creep mode is good in some in, in some situations, but I think it's bad in a lot of others. Okay YouTube, this is the end of this video. I dropped the load off yesterday. And that load was $347.17. I had two loads of the same thing. They both paid the same thing. They, my first load, counting my deadhead, was 111 miles. It paid $3.12 per mile. And then the second load was 158 miles. Because I was a little bit further away from it. Because I had to deadhead back to Heath, Ohio to pick it up. It also paid the same thing, but with the extra deadhead that I had to do, it ended up $2.19 a mile. This week was a short week for me because I ended up getting stuck in Lynchburg, Virginia. And I had to deadhead to North Carolina. Then when I deadheaded to North Carolina and took the load to Ohio, I couldn't find a load that wasn't too far away because I'm going on vacation next week. So I couldn't go too far out of the way because I I didn't know if I could be able to come back. So this week was short. I got two loads for this previous week and that's just to shoot myself out and then shoot myself back in. So I have all of my expenses and the fuel and a couple of hundred dollars making on that load and I'll take the rest of the week off. I picked that I picked up my first load today. Today is Saturday. The Saturday the 15th. So I picked it up and I ran about a hundred miles on it to make it easier for me tomorrow. It drops off anytime Monday. And I picked my next load up on Tuesday and I have it back here by Wednesday. I should have it here Tuesday evening though. 
and then I have all of my expenses and everything paid off and then the rest of the week is mine but I'm not gonna hold y'all I'm out <laughs>